Growing up, my, my brother and I got desensitized to paintings because everywhere there are paintings there. All, all available spaces in the city choose paintings because uh, even as a child we used to draw a lot. The way my father described it, it was a more than eight hour walk. They were expected to do and do and do up to early evening. Not all in Marsolo, but the other instructors there was gross monitoring and a deviation from the standard techniques was discouraged. So how, how can modernism <laughs> emerge in that uh, environment? You cannot experiment. He wanted to go to Spain, just like Morsolo. I uh, got a scholarship from Yale. Uh, Morsolo wanted it also because Yale at the time it was not the same reliability. Farmers came in from Black Mountain. And another one came in, the Kuning. That was the one time that the Kuning taught us him. I think Klein was also there, that's Klein. And when that, when, that, when that happened, that was the shift of the Yale School of Fibers. That July is uh, basically this, uh, this is the change that one feels when the year proceeds. You have uh, rainy days, for example, and there are some feelings. Uh, associated with rainy days. There's a Tower Passage series. I think it's one of the, if not the last of the series that was done in 1990. Uh, his last show would be 1992, according to Amazon. Sayang, Kawawa naman. Kawawa naman. It's a pity. All those four years wasted because there was a different expectation. Amosol's expectation was he was going to hone in on what he has learned by way of new style thing and coming back with modern art. Not only Amosol, but even among his colleagues in the UP School of Art. He had to accept also the criticism of his uh, story and also self-sustaining. I mean, regardless of the criticism, he kept on uh, doing his art, doing what he wanted.